to. Hello, I'm Donnie Snook running for Common Council for Ward 3. I've been asked to make some comments about uh, transit and uh, we know the challenges that uh, the City of St. John has been facing recently, uh, especially around the affordability, the sustainability of the pension plan has really uh, been negatively affecting uh, how we're able to fund uh, essential services in our city. I believe that transit is an essential service and is a priority of citizens. Uh, protecting those priorities at budget time is critical. You'll know in the 2012 budget, uh, transit was cut uh, by a substantial amount. There was a real effort afoot, I want to assure uh, everyone, uh, to try to protect priorities uh, like transit. Uh, these are priorities that, uh, that people care about and, and are essential uh, to their day-to-day -day quality of life. Uh, we were building uh, several plans in 2012. There was a Plan A budget, uh, there was a Plan B budget, and uh, most of you would be aware that we were working towards the Plan C budget. A Plan C budget that I actually think was the best out of all uh, plans that were being proposed uh, because uh, there was an effort to build a consensus around where cuts should and shouldn't happen, as you would appreciate during budget time. In the Plan C budget, many of us were trying to protect priorities, one of which was, was transit. We know that ultimately a Plan B budget was passed. Beyond that, uh, we know further cuts were proposed again for transit and uh, it seemed like the situation was going from bad to worse. Uh, many other routes were, were potentially going to, be, uh, going to be lost in our city. I recently was uh, appointed to the Transit Commission and uh, we were fighting actually uh, to save three routes in our city's priority uh, neighborhoods. Uh, we quantified the dollar amounts that were required to save some of those routes and uh, uh, there's no secret, I've made it known to anybody who's asked me that uh, as I try to save routes in the south end of our city evening bus service, um, we understood uh, what dollar amounts were necessary to do that and uh, I actually asked the Transit Commission to allow me to go back again to Council so that they might reconsider finding additional dollars to save those routes. We need that commitment from Council to understand how essential these routes and, uh, and how essential these bus services are uh, throughout our city but especially in our urban core and in our priority neighborhoods. And so if re-elected, I hope uh, you will understand my position that I believe transit is a priority. I want to see uh, that we restore funding to transit. Some solutions that are being offered uh, include having studies and, and looking to gather more information. Uh, I'm always for gathering more information from ridership and looking at how we can enhance our bus service but I don't believe that we necessarily need more studies. I, we know uh, what it costs to run this service and the bottom line will always be the bottom line. We need to fund what it costs to offer this essential services uh, to the citizens of St. John. So I commit to, be, to being an advocate, to continue to be an advocate uh, if re-elected for uh, funding and restoring the funding to city transit. We need to set our priorities and we need to make sure that those priorities are funded. The last thing I would offer is that beyond what we can do at City Hall with regard to uh, delivering a, a good transit system, we need to also be looking beyond and looking for reforms to the provincial tax system. I believe we need to advocate at the city level for progressive tax reforms with regard to transit. And I believe the province can really be a player in helping the city uh, create a situation where, where transit here in New Brunswick is more sustainable, like we see in other provinces. And that includes asking for the elimination of the, of the tax on fuel. Uh, it means uh, helping us uh, with, uh, with uh, property taxes on transit-owned facilities. And it also means getting people together to have a discussion again about other creative things that we should be doing in the province to help public transportation not punitive uh, tax uh, structures that currently exist, but rather progressive tax reforms that will also 
go, I believe, a long way in helping municipalities uh, deliver uh, a good, strong public transportation system. Thank you for uh, listening to some of my thoughts, and uh, all the best to you uh, during this election season.